What's up team? Welcome back to Train Like a Ballerina and this core workout today. Let's get straight into it. Starting with our feet and our knees about hip width apart, feet flat on the ground, coming all the way down. And we're going to start with some simple core activation, which I believe is one of the most important exercises you can ever learn to do for the rest of your life. We're going to take a big breath in, expand the diaphragm, and as we exhale, empty your lungs and push your spine into the mat. You can use your hands to feel your stomach, feel it really tense and tight. Everything else is relaxed, but all of our energy is in our core. And relax and big breath in. Feel the lungs are there, feel your lungs are there and breath out. Imprint your spine into the mat. Think someone's taken a little punch to your stomach. So it's really tense. We're not hollowing, we're tensing it and relax. Big breath in, breath out through the mouth. If you had a torch and you shined it through one side, you wouldn't see any light coming through the other side. That's how much your spine is pressing down to the mat. And relax. Big breath in and breath out. Really tense now. All of the energy and all of your tension is in your core muscles. We're not taking it in our shoulders. We're not taking it in our neck really really tight and we're continuing to breathe even though this is really tight <sighs> keep the stomach tight this time and go breathe in and short breath out <sighs> go even tighter <sighs> good one more time like that relax and breath in fill your lungs with air and breathe out <sighs> good keeping the core muscles tight short breath in through the nose short breath out through the mouth <sighs> Go even deeper. And short breath in. Short breath out. Go as tight as you can. Keep your core tight. And all we're going to do is lift our bum off the ground and peel it back down and up. And down. And up. And down. You can see as I come down, I don't lose the tension in my stomach. It's tight the whole time. <laughs> That's where the work is. And up, and down. Breathe in, and out. We're gonna do eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Nice guys. Last three, and one. This time we're gonna roll all the way up, similar to a glute bridge, but we're gonna be thinking and concentrating on our core muscles. Going all the way up, and all the way back down, starting at the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, keeping the core tight as we go back up again. So we don't wanna hyperextend, overextend the back, we're keeping this tucked position of the hips, so you can really feel those core muscles, and slowly back down. And up, two, three, four, and down. Vertebrae by vertebrae, starting at the top, and peel off the bum. And starting at the top, going down. Good, we're gonna do two more. Up, three, two, one, and down. Three, two, one. Keep the core tight, spine pressed against the mat. Lift your right leg left leg. Now really important that our knees are not towards our body. You can feel that your core deactivates pretty quickly when we do that. And we're not lower as well. That's going to take a lot of the work in our hip flexors. We're at a nice 90 degree angle here. And all we're going to do is touch that right leg down and draw it back up. Breathe in and out. Breathe in. Out. Breathe in. And out. Think of your spine as it pressed against the mat. Do you have tension in your shoulders? Do you have tension in your forehead? Down. And back up. Now the further away you're touching your toe, the harder this is going to be. So we don't want to be like this. We want to be in this beautiful, long position. We're going to do four more. Four. Three, two, and one. And we're going to lower both of our legs to the ground for four. Three, two, one. Take a big breath in. 
Take a big breath out. And we're going to roll over, thinking of drawing our knees to the ground. Rolling over. And we're going to roll back slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae. Three, two, one. And over. Three, two, one. And over. And over. Now, it doesn't matter how far you roll over. It's all about the control on the way down. So if you're dropping like this, that's okay. Just come to here and just use that control to bring your spine back down. This is going to really work your lower abdominals. Up and back. Let's go a bit faster. Up and back. You can hold on to the side of the mat if you like. For a bit of support. Just make sure you're not really gripping it for dear life. Let's do five. Four. Three, we're going to add a bit of a twist. Two, incorporate the obliques. This time we're going to go twist and back. So we're twisting the whole pelvis to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. Go, guys. Eight more. Seven, six, five. Four, three, keep pushing. Two, twist a bit more. One, let's do one more to make it even. And one, and relax. Whew. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. And we're going to lift both of our legs up to a little turned out position above us. This is one of my favorite TLB core exercises. Slightly turning out the legs, rising up with the upper body and the arms are in first rubber they breathe out and as the arms lower so do the legs breathe in and drawing both legs up together going again drawing back up if you have a bit of pain in your upper body you can put your head back down but still use the arms still press the spine down onto the ground. Good. Breathe in. Drawing back up. Last time. Breathe in. Get really low. Drawing back up. Keeping that core engaged. And we're going to do some pulses up. Pulsing up. And up. And up. Just lifting the pelvis off the ground. Thinking of pushing the ceiling away. If you had my hand up above you, trying to push it away. Let's do eight, seven, six. Whew, it's burning. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Whew, take a big breath in. Let all the oxygen. Come back into your body. <laughs> I'm going to do four more TLB swan ab exercise. We're going to do four more of our turn down first and then 12 pulses. Okay, four more, 12, that's it. Turning out those legs, upper body up, breathe in, out, in, drawing back up, three more and in. Drawing back up, plus two. Drawing back up. Good, last time make it count and going straight into pulses and pulsing up. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, there guys. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. Oh, how was our core feeling? Go back and forth with your hips. Give your stomach muscle a bit of a stretch out in each direction. Stretch out. Last time. Good. The last exercise we're going to do on our, on our back. We are coming across our body. So our left elbow is coming to our right knee. 
We're then going to extend the leg and the arm together and come back on a diagonal, back to centre. Right arm now to the outside of the left knee. Extend. Hold. And back. Extend. Hold. Back. Hold. Back. That little hold here is probably the most important, is the most important part of the exercise. It's the hold. It's when the muscle is under tension that we gain strength. Extend. Good. We're going to do two more after this one. Extend. Hold. Back. Last one. Hold. Extend. Hold. And back. Good, guys. Give yourself a little bit of a breather. And we're going to come on to all fours. Now, the really important part about these core exercises is we're not sinking into our shoulders. We're not sinking into our lower back. But we're thinking, I like to think of the image that there's a fishing hook attached to my belly button and it's coming through our body and attached to the ceiling and it's pulling up. Doesn't sound that nice at all, but for me it helps this image that, to imagine that the whole core is pulled in like this and it really helps to activate all of your center. So coming on to all fours now, hands directly under our shoulders, pushing out of those shoulders, think of that fishing hook. And all we're doing is coming, lifting our knees up and dropping them back, up, and back. As you can see, my core is not losing itself. <laughs> Can't really talk and do these exercises, can you? Can I? <laughs> Let's do eight, seven, six, pulling out the shoulders, four, three, two, and one, and relax. Good guys, coming on to our, all of our weight's gonna be in our left leg now. Now, if you aren't touching the ground, you don't have the flexibility, that's okay. Put your hands against a wall or a chair. The point of this exercise is to pull the knee in as much the body as you can and then release it. So you're gonna feel this in your calf, stretching your hamstring, strengthening your calf, and really for your core as well. It's all gonna be about that knee drawing towards your body. We're gonna do eight on each side. Drawing in, release. Drawing in. Six. Five. <laughs> four. Three. Two. One, other side. Draw in that left knee now. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Give your wrists a bit of a break as well. We're going to go on to the last exercise. Coming into a really strong plank position. And a really strong plank position means, again, this fishing hook attached to the ceiling, so it's pulling up your core, your cheeseburger in your bum cheeks, your glutes are squeezed, and your hips are slightly above your shoulders, meaning that we're not sinking into our back like this. We're not here, we're just in this beautiful plank position here. We're drawing the right leg into passe across the body, out to passe, back across the body, back to plank, left leg. Back to plank. Back to plank. Cross the body. Keep that knee really high. Good, guys. Pull out of those shoulders. This one's a really tough one. Let's do two more. Last one. Stay in this plank position for four. Three, two, one. Let's do four more. Four. Three, two, one, and relax. Oh, my car's on fire. How was yours? Did you feel that as much as I did? I hope you guys enjoyed that ballerina core workout. I'll see you guys at the next Train Like a Ballerina.